Always a special day on the calendar. Champions League final day, and it's a privilege to be bringing the game to you. My name's Derek Ray, joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. The atmosphere is building to fever pitch just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City facing Real Madrid. Good evening. What a pleasure it is to be here with you, Derek, sitting over this magnificent stadium with arguably the best two teams, well, obviously the best two teams in this competition this year because they're in the final. And what a final we've got. The pitch looks fantastic. The crowd are expecting. There's the trophy just sitting there and the players are in the tunnel just about to do what they do best, go out and play and entertain us. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne starts with Rodri in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. It is the game that the world truly focuses on. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the quest for European glory. Who's it going to be tonight, Lee? Well, it's a toss of a coin for me. It's a really big night for everybody. All that hard work leading up to pre-season training, going through your domestic league, playing Champions League on and off, the winter break, all of that culminates in tonight. Very, very big night for everybody concerned, supporters, but most so the players. They have to stay focused, play the game, not the occasion. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Toni Kroos starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And operating through the middle in attack today, Karim Benzema. Walker. Rodri. It's with Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. The ball with Rodri. Foden, Joao Cancelo, thou shalt not pass was the message delivered, well no matter who you support there is so much to like about the overall game of Kevin De Bruyne, Lee what do you in particular enjoy as regards him? Well, Derek, I have to say, probably the best all-round creative midfield player in the game right now. He's a striker's dream. Make the run, he will find you. He seems to know where the striker's going to run before the striker knows. Rodri. De Bruyne. Using his strength to shield the ball. Keeping it moving dynamically. And that is how to block. Casemiro. The ball with Luka Modric. Marco Asensio. What can they do from here? Alert defending. Gundogan. Bruyne now. Foden. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Joao Cancelo. Rodri. Gundogan. And now Rodri. Takes it on. Well, he didn't have it quite on the target, Lee. No, it was a great opportunity. Sometimes you've got a choice, power or placement. He should have put his laces through it. Well, he's disappointed with the fact they haven't taken the lead, but he'd be pleased with the way they're playing.
Marco Asensio. Federico Valverde. Karim Benzema. Modric. Now Casemiro. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And a chance to whip it in here. Modric. Here's Valverde. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. The outcome is a goal kick here. Well worth, I think, at this stage, going back to the chance from earlier. Ruben Diaz. Joao Cancelo. It's with Gundogan. It's with Joao Cancelo. He could pick out a teammate. But strong defending. And a throw in forthcoming. Joao Cancelo. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Doesn't want to give it away here. Casemiro. throw in for Manchester City it'll be Walker and now Stones Rodri losing possession a bit easily Karim Benzema Marco Asensio Course. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Joao Cancelo. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. De Bruyne. Mares. Can they take the lead? Manchester City strike first in the Champions League final. Oh, incredible scenes, Derek, incredible scenes. Well, here's the replay. It's a really good passing move in the build-up, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when he's hit that hard. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. That's a lovely ball. Benzema doing well to keep possession Mendy and with that the first half draw <laughs> 45 minutes separating these two sides from glory the second half of the Champions League final begins Vinicius Junior Mendy has it. Casemiro. On to Benzema. Luka Modric. 
Well, body in the way. Valverde. Marco Asensio. Chance to play it in. And the defender takes care of business. Asensio. It looks promising. Valverde. Oh, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. Foden. And it's Ruben Dias. Bernardo Silva. Stones. De Bruyne. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Modric. Now with Benzema. Rodri on the offensive. Joao Cancelo. Foden. And now Rodri. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Modric. This is Kroos. And breaking at pace with Menace. A real opening now. Takes the shot. And a goal! And what an important goal in the grand scheme of things! Well, it's the sort of determination and desire that's got them here. All the momentum is with them now. Well, we can see it again here now, and it all starts with the ball over the top, perfectly weighted. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Well, he's furious, and why not? They've thrown this lead away. A change on the offing for City. So, a level contest. 1-1. Rodri and now Kevin De Bruyne the ball with Rodri and it's with Courtois Marco Asensio and teammates to play it to taking care of business defensively here well this could be a chance for Real Madrid to jump ahead from a corner Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. And over comes the corner. And able to get a body in the way. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. It's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Valverde. 
This is Sergio Ramos. Here's Valverde. City did well to win it back. And room now out on the wing. Still pushing for a winner. Mendy. They've lost it. Counter-attacking very much an option. Laporte. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. Now, what can they do from here? Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Bernardo Silva. He can't hold on to it. Well, threat about it. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Ramos. Tony Kroos. On to Benzema. And that puts them in position. That is that after 90 minutes. And the drama continues. We're now into the first period of extra time tonight, Lee. Well, this 30 minutes now is going to separate the weak ones from the strong ones. Let's see who wins. Bernardo Silva. Now Zinchenko. Ferran Torres. And now Kevin De Bruyne. And successfully cut out. Cross couldn't keep it. Sterling. Will he play it in? De Bruyne. Interception to snuff out the danger. Casemiro. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Ruben Diaz. And now Kevin De Bruyne. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. There will be one minute added on at the end. Could play it in. De Bruyne. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Sterling. Mares. Half time in extra time. And... Well, underway again, the second period of extra time. Who's going to prevail here? Walker. Sterling. And now Kevin De Bruyne. Sterling. Here's Bernardo Silva. Gundogan. Superb save. And still they are level. Oh, I love goals at the end of games, but I also love saves like that. Brilliant, brilliant goalkeeping.
Short corner it is. De Bruyne. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Benzema. Oh, great vision. And level it is in the closing moments. Can Real Madrid change that? Benzema. Not the pass he had in mind. Five minutes left in the second period of extra time. If nothing changes, it will be decided by means of a penalty shootout. Mares. It's with Bernardo Silva. Promising sequence. Laporte. Bernardo Silva. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Bernardo Silva. Can they get in behind them? Doing well to keep possession. And winning it back. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Could cross it in here. Committed challenge. After 120... And this will test the mentality of any footballer. And he scores! Well, don't they look easy when they go in? And he succeeds in finding the bottom corner. An ex-penalty taker myself. I love it when it goes in the net. Well, he couldn't quite hit the desired target. Well, he's hit the beans on. And he's tucked his penalty away, Lee. Well, he held his nerve. Simple as that. Superbly done. How many players would try that? Well, you look stupid if you miss, but look at him now. Well, the Panenka has duly fooled the goalkeeper. Well, when you do Panenka in a game, absolutely top draw. Brilliant. He's gone for the Panenka, but he might be wishing he hadn't. More like a plonker. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. And now it is truly final. One team in raptures, the other disconsolate. What an ending. Well, you can talk about the merits of penalty shootouts to decide big tournaments, big games. So much nerves of steel are needed. A little bit of a gamble here and there. Who's going to come out on top? But the end result is there for all to see. What a night.